Okay, now we're gonna look at the hover. The hover is a great 3D maneuver and it has a real wow factor at the field. In the hover, the model is hanging by the prop and facing into the wind and a little bit tilted. It can be inverted and upright if there's a steady wind, although inverted is a lot harder to master. You need to consider the wind because if you hover completely vertically, the airplane will get blown in the direction of the wind. So you need to start it closer to you and it'll end up further away. The reason we recommend starting by facing into the wind and not to do it fully vertical while you're learning is so that the airplane doesn't torque roll on you. Try to stand as much as possible completely behind the plane as it's easiest to maintain the hover from this position. When beginning, we recommend not to practice in gusty conditions because it'll just be too hard to stabilize the plane. When you've learned the wall maneuver, you can practice a hover by doing the wall and transitioning into a hover. Also, it's very, very important to master the Harrier before you attempt the hover, as this is the most common and easiest transition into a hover, and it can also help to get you out of mistakes. Although an FCG helps to achieve a steady hover to some extent, it's not really necessary, because the key to getting a good steady hover is the use of correct throttle and control inputs. It is vital to install a good quality and powerful motor. Of course, we recommend the thrust line of motors we sell as part of the IPA's power setup for the Precision Aerobatics airplanes. An underpowered system will struggle to maintain position and will not allow you to power out of a mishap situation, which could result in a crash. A good motor will also be able to spin a larger diameter prop, which is a vital factor in learning to hover. Perfecting the entry into the hover is the first key to learning. For initial hover training, fly straight and level at a moderate to slow speed directly away from you, and then pull into a vertical position while at the same time reducing throttle until the model comes to a complete stop. Now try to balance the throttle inputs to keep the model stationary, not descending or climbing, and you have just entered into a hover. To maintain the hover, make corrections with the elevator and rudder to keep the model vertical and hold a little bit of right aileron to keep the plane from naturally torque rolling. When the model falls out of vertical and you found moving the sticks to full does not seem to work, assist the controls by blipping the throttle. This takes advantage of the added prop wash across control surfaces, giving you more control authority and pulling the model back into hover. Ending the hover is as simple as punching out full throttle, flying out in a vertical upline. And now that you've grasped the concept of the hover, you can try to practice lower and lower and move on to precision hovering in a stationary position. Once you've mastered precision hovering, you can try hovering with the model in different orientations. This will set the stage and help you to get ready for the next maneuver, torque rolling.